Dear Toastmasters, I am Alicia Che, Distinguished Toastmaster. I'm a member of Passion ESG Integration Toastmasters Club and One World Toastmasters Club. I want to help you do your pathways projects. Before I begin, I would like to suggest that you think about these two key questions. Number one, are you here to do a project, a speech project, or to learn public speaking skills? I suggest you think about these two questions because the outcomes will be different. When your mind is focusing on doing a project, you would likely ignore or not paying enough attention on meeting the objective. If you are here to learn public speaking skills, you will certainly want to make sure you meet the objective of every speech project because it is by meeting every speech objectives you learn the skills. In every speech, we learn one key skill and accumulatively you will learn all the skills and be a good public speaker. Otherwise, you will be just running through one by one, one speech by one speech, and not truly learning the skills. How do you know? You can check it out. At the end of every speech, or every three, six months, one year, you do a review. Be honest to yourself. Ask yourself if you have improved, if you have made good progress. Otherwise, why? You will realize that because you did not pay attention to these two questions. Introduction to Vocal Variety and Body Language. This is the third speech of level one. In this speech, actually, you can choose to focus on either Vocal Variety or Body Language, but you can also do both. If you want to focus on Vocal Variety, I suggest you choose dialogue type of speech. Pay attention to the emotion, the variation of emotion. Choose to talk about something that will allow you or need you to raise your voice or lower your voice. Vocal variety is about the variation, but do it purposefully, including the body language. If you want to focus on body language, you can have a speech that facilitates your gesture. For example, somebody will do a yoga demonstration. Whatever you do, vocal variety or body gesture, remember, it must be purposeful. And don't forget your facial expression, your eye contact. Look at the pinhole. The audience is in the pinhole. Now I want to demonstrate to you the eye contact. If you look at the pinhole and if you don't look at the pinhole. Don't think people don't know that you are looking at the screen or you are reading from the screen. It is very obvious. Now I'm looking at you through the pinhole and I'm looking at the screen. Can you tell the difference? If I just read from the screen and my eye and everything, it will be different. Don't think people cannot tell just because it's so convenient that you have a screen in front of you. Now, remember, you want to learn the skill. You must take it seriously. You must put in the effort. No one can learn a skill without putting in time and effort. Do you agree? Now, this speech is five to seven minutes. Remember, don't memorize the speech. Put it in a point form. You can write out the entire speech, but in every paragraph, pick up a few key words, put it by the side, and look at the few key words to remind you what you want to say. And you have to practice it. it practice is the only way you can really be good. The, all, the biggest secrets of public speaking is practice, practice, practice. When you practice, time yourself. Therefore, when you have exited time or you cannot reach to the minimum time, the only reason is you did not practice enough. Prepare your speech one week before the delivery. Every day, practice it in your mind when you eat. Practice it when you're taking shower or you are driving or you are in the LRT, MRT. You can make use of any time when you are not working, not doing something, right? Again, pay attention to the speech structure, opening, body, and conclusion. The opening always tell people what is this speech all about. Your message, your purpose, remember? We want to learn the speech and then accumulate it. Don't put it aside. The second time, the first speech icebreaker, you learn to speak from your heart. The second speech, you learn to write a speech with purpose. Now you learn to add on your vocal variety, your body language. Okay, let's run it through again. The opening is about what your purpose is. 
then the body is about elaborating your point, give the supporting point, tell the story. The end, the conclusion is about summary, the points that you have talked about, and then reiterate your message, your purpose. Remember, look at the pinhole, your body language. If you have time, I encourage you to read through the entire manual. There are a lot more things to read. This video is to prepare you when you don't have time to read, or if you have read it, you don't really get the point and understand. Then you can watch this video. It gives you a very direct guidance. Most importantly is enjoy your speech. Speak from your heart. Enjoy your speech.